Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the film The Old Dark House, which was produced in the United Kingdom in 1963. Tom is an American salesman in the United Kingdom and he has a roommate called Casper and he also sold a car to Casper. And once Casper invited him to go to his family house, which was located in another city in England. He went there, however, there was a downpour in the middle of the road. And when he arrived with his car, there was an accident and a heavy statue that was on the gate of Casper's family house fell on the car. And then Tom was really, really, really desperate with this incident because he was going to deliver Casper's car at that moment. So he arrived in the old house of Casper's family and then he was told that Casper had passed away. And then he got to see Casper in a coffin. He was really distressed. And then he slowly met the members of Casper's family. All of them extremely weird. The house was a very old mansion. Then he got to know that Casper had a twin brother called Jasper that looked just like him. And he also knew that Casper's family had to live in the house and always arrive before midnight so they would remain with the right to inherit the house. If they didn't live in the house or arrived home after midnight, then they would lose the rights to the inheritance. And then we could see that in addition to be weird, Casper's family there was also some tensions related to the inheritance because there were many people to divide the money, to divide the house and of course it would be just natural that uh, one person start killing each other so they would have the money all to themselves. The first person to die was Casper, then Casper's mother passed away then Jasper, who was Casper's twin brother, passed away too. And then Tom, the American salesman, who was the roommate of Casper. Then Tom became suspicious of all those deaths, because after all, he was a stranger to all those people. And Casper had two female cousins, one of them was the seductive Morgana and the other one was sweet Cecily. And Tom was attracted by Cecily. Cecily always warned him about the dangers of the house, that it wasn't easy to live there, that they had a very sad life. And of course Tom started to feel threatened in the house. He started to be afraid that he would be killed too. Many weird things happening. Once he was given something that he thought was hot water for his bath, but it ended up being acid. And when he complained about it to other people, it was water again. So um, time passed, many weird things happening. And it became clear that there was one person who was killing all family members. But it wasn't clear who that person was. And then Tom started to become suspicious that it could be a woman because of some tape recordings that could be heard in the house, that people thought it was Casper's voice, but it was actually a woman's voice. And then Tom realized it was Cecile who committed all those crimes because she wanted the inheritance of the entire family just to herself. She threatened to kill her cousin Morgana. Then she locked Morgana in a, in a room. 
and then she left. And then Tom realized that uh, Cecile left time bombs in all clocks of the house. Then Tom madly started to defuse all bombs. And when he found the last bomb, because it was seven, there were seven clocks, and there was there were bombs in each of those clocks. When Tom found the last clock with the bomb, he accidentally th throw, threw it out of the window and the bomb ended up um, exploding on Cecile, killing her. And then things in the house started to become more relaxing without all those tensions because the person who was killing everyone was Cecile and she was no longer around. And then people started growing fond of Tom and they wanted him to stay in the house and he refused, he wanted to return to his home, to his activities. However, there was a trap in the house and he couldn't leave the house. And it was the end of the film and it implied that somehow Tom remained living in the house. This is a very unique comedy. It has a style that is different from the style of Hollywood comedies of the era. It's a comedy of absurds. The film mixes horror with comedy. All the situations are totally absurd. The dialogues are absurd, but it's a very one of a kind experience, especially if you are very much used with Hollywood classic films. It's different. The actors, they weren't very known out of the United Kingdom, but they were good. They acted well. The film often looks like a stage play and it has a slower path, but it's a nice thing because the plot develops slowly. You have time to understand what's going on. Something I missed was a deeper development of each character, showing why they acted in such a weird way, if they were any other, there were any other motivations besides money. But on the other hand, it's a comedy of absurds, as I have already said. So, of course, that uh, it doesn't have commitment with reality and it's not supposed to play an accurate picture. It's uh, meant to be grotesque. It means meant to be different and even to shock. It's a very nice uh, example of old British humor. And I think you are going to enjoy this film very much. I would really give it a try. It's not a very known film. Actually, classic British films, they deserve more appreciation. They have a very peculiar style. And it's different because you can notice the difference between Hollywood films. That's all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you!